Alright, so let's talk with you stole second and then go to Alice 8 last. Oh, are we saying our farewells too? I had at present plan on drawing of any great links. Not that I am averse, averse to a moment or two of quiet reminiscence, reminiscence. In fact, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. Something that has been on my thoughts since the last flame of the final days subsided. And that is... During our travels, we have witnessed more than a lifetime's worth of oddities and spectacles. More than can be easily recalled or remembered. At the nestled among those memories are certain essential facts. The history of Arthurus and the ancients. Glimpses of the era of their culture and philosophy. Rather than simply hoard such treasures in my mind, I wonder if I could should not be dismantling them in a formal co records for wilderness consumptions. When I need, when needed, I have pen report and prepared briefings, but never have a baked idea of binding the subjects of my studies in a book or tablet. Should the given. Truth is given shape in interpretation when we seek out to capture it with our words. It is the individually molded to fit a narrative, no matter how well in in intention the recording. An event is described as said, a summonation which falls to express the emotion's complexity, yet the words on the page is what endures, a pale shadow of reality. Throughout history, some have deliberately embellished the truth, but I believe many, if not most, deviations are the result of similar logistics. Logistics? I think it's logistics. Shortcomings, piling one upon the other, until the end result is unrecognizable from its origin. Which is why I fear that writing an account in my own words would be akin to diluting fine wine with water. Yet, even with the potential for corrupting meaning, corrupted meaning, I do of course realize the importance of keeping rec written records. Without them, my research for wisdom would be a painful affair indeed. But when you say on this matter, should I take on upon a quill? Reflecting upon those experiences only we have shared, and seek to preserve them for prosperity. Hmm. Aye, let them be read and remembered. Nay, it's enough to hold them into your memories. Honestly, even though I want to disagree with her, but I want to say it's better to have them, you know, written down for future generations to. No, at least you can pass down the knowledge you have gained in your lifetime to other people. For there, knowledge could be shared to other generations down the line. I would say, I let them be read and remembered. Very well then, I shall endeavor to pen what I can of the era and the ancients, and of so many other world wonders. But I am to subscribe, it will be less polished work and more of a recording of scattered notes. In any case, I feel much better for having sought of your opinion, left to our own devices. We attend to overthink such things. I will otherwise return to the following where my curiosity leads, after all. A safe method of traveling to the first yields, yet y eludes me, and adventures to into greater expanses has promoted a entirely new set of questions. 
Should you stumble into the unknown or struggle with some impenetrable mystery, know that I am at your beck and call. It never hurts to see things from a different perspective, and mine is rather different than most. That I can understand since you can see things with better now since you lost your actual eyesight. Okay, now the talk with Alice. Artorias! See your preference, have you? I'm just making out another weep over my belongings. Would it do to find that I've forgotten something halfway into my destination? Oh, and in case you haven't heard, we have seen a new report detailing the devastation caused by the final days. It appears that the situation in Gravis, in the land surrounding the bounty, where the skies first began to burn. After that, the calamity was observed in the far north, in Garland, and the frozen lands beyond. We also have reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated locations, one of which was in the area of the Northern Empty. Have our greatest, have our quest taken any longer, Charlene too may have come under threat. Thank goodness it is over now. For the most part, just now until something else goes wrong again. To be sure, the blasphemies and the lesser beasts may still be roaming about, but these localized cries should be well within the capacities of each nation to handle on their own. The scions are no longer needed. Which is easy to say that we won't help out when we can, of course. As individuals, no more of this order business. For my part, I'll be heading to Garland with Alphanud, there, oh, they were among the worst affected, and still needed all the help they can get. It won't be easy. A inevitable part of aiding those in need is coming to face to face with tragedy. Knowing it doesn't make it any easier, though that curse my weakness. My inability to fix every problem and save every last lost soul. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for as many people as I can, begrudging no effort. Begrudging no effort. And I should find myself discouraged, I will remember you. Taking back fondly to one of our many moments in triumph, and uh, accompany the determined expression. And even, even those that still annoys me in retrospect, like when we when we activated the teleport without warning. Oh, is I hope she's not talking about that one instance in Azila where he. Trying to figure out the password, and she just said, The password is password. <laughs> and should you hear me about hear about me, I want you to remember too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere, trying my very best. I look forward to hearing about the legendary Alice Louvier. Think you could keep me for me? Mmm. Honestly. I look forward to hearing all about the legendary Alice I Louvier. Not that I am trying to become famous or anything. That being said. The next time we meet, I'll be vastly improved. So don't be surprised when you find yourself Mabbling at me. Ah, Alice. All right, that's everyone. Not a talk to Tataru. Spoken your fill, have you? If so, I'll be taking to send everyone off. 
With your permission, then? Your attention, please! At risk of spoiling the mood, the time of our departure is upon us. In my capacity as your recep receptionist, I bid you all a safe journey. Till next we meet. Be well. Ooh, we got the Arborist Horn, Wind of Harios, and Walker Foot for our Scorching Strolls, and Flow. Ooh, yeah! And with that, we said our goodbyes to the Rising Stone for now. さてと私とアルフィノは一まず石ガルドに行くわガレマルドに残ってる派遣団からの最新の報告書がアイメリク総長のところにも届いてるんですってそれを見せてもらうのついでに防寒具も調達したいところだねユルスたちへのお土産も
spin. Yet stand tall, my friends. Our journey will never end. Back in here. Ooh. いつ訪れようとここは変わらないな。満ちた命は輝き、たゆたう時を生き続ける。Who's this person now? だが、感じる。何かがうごめいているような。Something stirs. 地の底より深く星なき夜より暗いところ。It マノソクツタルバンマデンパンデモニウムともにイドマントするホシトはいかなる存在かあ、this oh, is the story for the pandemonium for that eight man man raid まだ見ぬ君に巡り会えるその時が楽しみだ Well, at least I can start doing the Pandemonium 8-man raid now. You have completed the main scenario and Walker. Quests that to unlock new content now will be available in Old Charlotte. Additionally, you may now enter the dead end with the NPC avatar. To make use of this feature, open yes. Rest well, Champion Arthas, for many more adventures awaits you. That course might ring to of all. Okay, okay, okay. Let us redeem the minion. And of course the mount too. The wind up Arborus. Oh I didn't read the description before summoning it. Uh let's go to the mount guide. Arborus. A creature by Bennett. This dog-like familiar lend his back only to those who have won his favor, which you already had by the time you first met him in the Mar Nurtrum owing to the quicks of time travel. And as for all mounts, it has a flavor text which states, Gosh! He's a fast doggy! Quoted by Nashu Makakroka. I have no idea who this person is, I'll probably put a small detail of it down below. This is very sweet in the future, and I just realized the Nashu character is actually the same Nashu from the Hill Event quest line, so at least now I know. <laughs> and let us summon the fort, our new uh, companion. Oh! Uh, oh, yeah, I can't remember. I, I don't think I will be riding on my side, but that's nice. And it has the music play for Arthur's, I think. Or, I don't know, I don't know where this music comes from, but it's nice we have him now. Our flying golden retriever, flying mount dog. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be something I was wondering what we'll be getting for the longest time, but at least we have it now. And we have the wind up minion, so let's see, uh, where is the wind up minion? Uh, let's dismount first. Minion. Uh, where is it? No. Ah, here. Wind up Herios. Look at that guy. Look at the move. I'm not sure if this thing have any special animations. Not that I can tell anymore in the at the sec. He's just standing still for the most part. Anyway, um, before we go to the description of the minion itself. 
Wind up here is. There's once a woman who selfishly saved her fellow man as Azem. Even after stepping down, she continued in this mission and went to become a divi divinity that hopes to may endure. This marmot was made in her honor. Okay. I don't. Wait, does she, was she doing a special animation? I, I just missed it. Come on, Harriet, do it again. Come on. Come on. Okay, she just puts the mask on for a little bit at her mouth. That's it. Okay. Well, uh, that's it for the story for the most part for now. I will be continuing eventually a little bit later in the week or the week after that. Oh, nice. It's just like, keep it hop, keep it hop. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'll be continuing the story after I finish editing all the videos for this and prior videos because I need to get them all done so I can start working on the new. 6.1 story not to mention all the other new content that have been added after you beat the game so that more stuff i need to be doing so this has been raven steve 45 hope you guys enjoyed this recording and take care stay safe and have a pleasant final fantasy 14 day Thank you guys for watching my recording session for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker's main MXQ. And if you have any comments, put them down below the video as well. And if you like this video, please click the like button. It's very much appreciated. If you are curious on whatever I upload on my YouTube channel, you can give it a look. And if you're curious on getting in touch on what I upload, you can subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. And of course, I have projects that are going on my channel, which is our right now Final Fantasy XIV Raid, Trial, MSQ, Royal Cast, Minions, Mounts, anything related to Final Fantasy XIV. Secondly, which will be Freight Grand Order, Lost Bill 4, 5, the um, events, the trans quests, and anything that are related to Fate Grand Order. And lastly, which will be Cursed Son of 5, the Royal. Whenever the existence of actually starting to record that again will be in the near future. And that. This has been Ravensleep45, take care, stay safe, and have a pleasant Final Fantasy XIV day.